Hi and welcome to a new episode of The Opening School. In this week's episode, we'll continue with analyzing the chameleon. Last week, we analyzed what would happen if Blackbird would advance in the center with an early d5. Today, we'll continue on this line, but we will, in difference to last week, see what happens if Black develops his knight before playing d5. Well, the game begins with the typical e4, c5, knight to c3, knight to c6, and knight g to e2. Here it would be good if we stop for a while. This since black's next move will decide whether white is to play g3 or d4. What one must remember is that if black plays g3, it will give black the chance of playing e5. Of course, white will be able to take over the d5 square again, but this time he will, have, he will get no help from his bishop, which before was able to go to c4, since it now only will have to go to g2. That's why one will have to play d4 after moves such as d6 from black. But if black, for in, but if black instead would have played in e6 or knight to f6, white can play g3. Now follows the long-awaited d5. White's next move to take on d5 is obvious, but black's next move, knight to d4, might not be as easy to figure out. Well, actually, to take on d5 with the knight is also fully possible but that will be analyzed later on. After knight to d4, black threatens to checkmate white after knight to f3, but that is easily avoided after white's bishop to g2. This is followed by bishop to g4 and castle kingside. Once again, black has the chance to choose between two different variations, which leads to two to totally different situations. The first variation is to take on d5 with the knight and thus regaining the pawn. What white is to do here is also a question worth pondering. First of all, to take on d5 is not to be recommended, since that would be followed up by an exchange in e2, and then black would be able to take the bishop on d5 with the queen. In this position, the king is in quite a tough spot, because of the open lines against the king. If white, for instance, would ignore black's threat after a capture in d5 and play d3, an exchange in c3 would follow and then a capture in e2. Instead, white has to play f3, and actually that leaves him with a quite comfortable position after bishop to f5. d3, e6, knight takes on d5, and queen takes on d5. We have left the opening, and we are in early middle game, and white got a slight advantage because he has gotten further in the piece development. But this is, can only happen if black, of course, takes on d5. It is more likely though that black instead plays knight to f3 check here. It looks more tempting, and white has to take it. It certainly seems as if the white king is in some serious trouble, but actually white will manage quite well. It's important though that white plays the right moves here, because otherwise the bishop might just become a nuisance. That is why it is here important to play d4, which is followed up by black's c4. The reason why black doesn't capture on d4 is because that, that would give, only give the queen an active spot in the center and release it from the bishop's pin. Anyhow, white has to get out of the pin, and therefore white now plays queen to d2. This is followed up by knight takes on d5, and white knight to f4. Black is far behind in his development, and because of that he plays g6. White does now exchange knights on d5, and white does here play rook to e1, which threatens the e7 pawn, especially since black is as good as forced to stop protecting it with the bishop, because black has developed it to g7. Now follows an exchange in d5, and the position is least said interesting. The white king is as safe as ever, but white in turn have no real attack to speak of. The position is, with other words, equal. It might be quite tough, to try to create some interesting game from here, since so many pieces are gone. But an interesting continuation can be queen to g5. Black has to exchange a queen, since white among others threatens to take an e7 with a checkmate. This is followed by white cap recapturing the queen with his bishop, and in order to protect e7, black plays e6, which white plays d5 against. The position is still equal, but is also quite dynamic. But with that, I'll have to thank for me, I'll, but I'll see you again next week when we'll continue with analyzing this opening. So see you then.